Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Brian Sterling. And I'm Susan Shaw. New tonight, the DEA says fake prescription pills are flooding our streets, leading to more than 100,000 deaths nationwide last year. The pills are easy to get through social media, and it's even harder to spot a phony. Emily Leonard has the report. We're finding that 40% of those counterfeit pills that we're seizing contain a lethal dosage of fentanyl. So you get 100 counterfeit pills, 40 of them can kill you. A warning from the DEA. The number of counterfeit pills being sold on the street with deadly fentanyl is skyrocketing. The DEA has seen an, a dramatic uptick in counterfeit pills. Last fall alone, DEA agents found 8 million fake pills, so many looking nearly identical to the real thing. You can't tell the difference just by looking at them. We have to send them to a lab to get them analyzed to see what's actually happening. Here they are side by side. The real oxycodone on the left, nearly identical fakes on the right. The same with Xanax and Adderall. Those same pills, those counterfeit pills, has those same markings. They're the same color oftentimes. So you, you just can't trust that what you purchased off of the street is something diverted from a, a pharmacy. It's oftentimes made in a warehouse or a barn or some guy's basement using a blender and some additives. The fake's now easier than ever to get, sometimes just an emoji away. These drug trafficking organizations are harnessing the power and the reach of social media to advertise these pills. Um, they're using emojis. You don't even have to type words anymore. They're using emojis uh, in certain order to communicate this is a Percocet or this is an Adderall or this is an oxycodone. And we just want uh, parents out there and, and caregivers to know that this is out there. In Grand Rapids, Emily Leonard, News 8. If you or someone you know is struggling with substance abuse, there are some great local organizations here to help, including the Red Project and Network 180. We have their contact information inside of our story over at woodtv.com.